Hello everybody, uh, right now I'm going to be giving a little, you know, a, a different type of virtual machine preview. This is a free application I'm going to be showing you. Um, if you have Windows 7, they have a feature called XP Mode. If you search it, it'll bring you to Microsoft's website and you download a 550 megabyte file to install XP Mode. And it basically installs a kind of copy of XP. And then what you need is a virtual machine that's designed to utilize that installed XP copy. Uh, you can do it with Microsoft's um, virtual PC. But I'm going to be showing you a different way to do it using an application called VM Lite XP mode. And this is an interesting application because it is basically uh, Sunbox. And uh, so it's basically Sun Virtual Box, and it's just repackaged. So when you install, what it gives you an options to and use the installed XP mode, or you can download the XP mode from Microsoft's website. And this works on XP, I'm only on Windows 7. So let's take a look here. If we open this application up, it is going to start booting up into Windows XP. Now you don't have to pay for this Windows XP, it comes free. And it's free for testing, free for anything you want, as long as you have Windows 7. That's the one requirement because that's the only operating system we'll install on. So, we've got it booted up here, and uh, you can go ahead, you can browse the internet like anything else. Uh, right here it points out something. When it says right control, that's what your host key is set at. The host key is the key you press to access the virtual machine and edit the settings from wherever you are. So, one interesting mode this has if you want to work in two operating systems at the same time more seamlessly they have something called seamless mode and to do this you either go to the machine menu or you hit your host key which is control and then L so we'll hit that so what it does is it puts the XP taskbar here you still see your Windows 7 desktop but you can go through XP and run applications together so right here I have an XP application. Now right here I might be working on the Windows registry and let's say I want this open and maybe I have this here and then I want to go and run regedit. So I can be reading about the registry in Windows 7 and working on the registry in uh, XP mode in the registry editor, which is an interesting thing. This is also secure for using um, uh, using malware testing. You can do that. Uh, it's just like using Sun Virtual Box. Uh, you might have to turn off your antivirus, just like with Sun Virtual Box, because it might not hide the uh, processes running within the virtual machine, um, which is fine. So let's uh, put this back into a virtual machine window here. Let's take a look at the other options. So what you can do is you can adjust the window size, which means choosing how big this gets. You can um, do full screen mode, which is like this. To get out of that, you would uh, hit control uh, right control F um, control alt delete within the virtual machine is host delete and that opens it up because if you hit control alt delete it will do it on the real machine and not the virtual machine um, you can disable mouse integration or the nice thing is because this uses Sun VirtualBox and everything you can take a snapshot 
with Microsoft Virtual PC, you cannot take a snapshot. The only thing you can do is copy your virtual hard disk and then take up a lot of room. So you can take a snapshot here. One big disadvantage with using the Sun VirtualBox platform is no drag and drop, which means I cannot take a, a file over here, drag it over here, and drop it into the virtual machine. But I guess we all have to live with that, and you just if you're going to work on the virtual machine, just download it on the virtual machine. All right, and then devices, you can have a number of sh devices. You could share folders if you're not testing from malware and you want to share folders with your Windows 7 machine, you could do that too. So we're going to shut this down. To shut it down, you can either use the menu up here or you can go to this and hit power off. And that will close this down. So what this does the other th interesting thing is it puts an icon on your desktop. It says Internet Explorer Secure. So it basically is like they're making it a sandbox. So if I double click this, what it's going to do is it's going to start the virtual machine. It's going to start the operating system. And, uh,. There we go. Details just shows you uh, the actual screen. Okay, so now that this is booted up, you can also hibernate the virtual machine, and that, that's fine too. So what this does is it opens uh, your Windows Virtual PC, and it automatically opens Internet Explorer and puts it into seamless mode. So this is your sandboxed browser basically and it's a nice little feature so I encourage you to type in VM Lite XP and give it a try if you have Windows 7 because it's a nice application it's better than using virtual PC and uh, it has some fun little features and it's really easy to work with and you just have to register to download it but that's pretty easy thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoy this application uh, bye-bye.